Hello friends, welcome to the Technovids channel. This is a channel that I've created for technical videos. I'm getting likes and subscribers. So thank you for liking and subscribing the channel. In this video, today we will discuss about how do we create a Microsoft account or get a Microsoft account. Now, uh, so you will wonder why I am saying you should get a Microsoft account. So <coughs> there is a benefit of Microsoft account, like one of the primary benefit of having a Microsoft account is the seamless integration it offers across a variety of devices. Whether you are using a PC or tablet, a smartphone Microsoft ensures the Microsoft account ensures a seamless integration and the devices get synced synced uh, so suppose you are using a Windows PC it crashes and then you you have a Microsoft account already so I'll show you how it will benefit you if you have a Microsoft account but before we dive deep into the benefits of Microsoft account let us see how do we get a Microsoft account so let me start the video and definitely you're going to like it so we will go ahead and open like a new window and you, this is the URL that I'll put in the description as well and you so it says it's all here with Microsoft account so click on sign in so this video I'll show you two ways if you have an existing Gmail account you can configure it to convert okay so I have an existing so there are two ways you can create a Microsoft account. One is converting your existing account to a Microsoft account or getting a Microsoft account directly from Microsoft. And we'll discuss about the benefits. So this is the URL. I have kind of existing Gmail account that I'll use to convert to Microsoft account. So it is asking for sign in. We cannot sign in right now because we do not have the Microsoft account with us so suppose I put it my email address for this particular video if I click next so it says we could not find an account with that username try another or get a new Microsoft account so we will get a new Microsoft account so no account create one and we can put here the email address that we want to convert it and again using a Gmail account to as a Microsoft account has different benefits so I will use like my password Oh, my country is India I'll put my date of birth I will put it uh, like not correct because hackers outside will know uh, enter your code so here I have to put a code so let me open up On another screen Google okay wait Microsoft account I'm waiting for the email Google to security alert I'm waiting for that email. Wait a minute. A 
okay so I have received the code and put the code here and click next help us beat the robots this is the verification uh, submit verification complete your Microsoft account okay you read you must read it now we are ready with uh, this is my Microsoft account I'm logged in with my Microsoft account I don't know get it started password can be forgotten stolen add an additional recovery method will verify it's you get it started and email uh, it will send me a code so it Again, I have to wait for a code. Okay, I get the code. Uh, phone number, I need to put my phone number. I don't know if it will take it. Next. Help us beat the robots again. I'll receive a code on my phone from Microsoft. Let us see. Yeah. Three six five one three seven three six five one three seven. This is the code I received. But next recovery email done. now this is your account now get Microsoft 365 from here you can buy like do more with Microsoft 365 we can buy these Microsoft subscriptions that is your wish let us leave it for now security info your info whatever information you provided to Microsoft it is here you can add a photo, you can Xbox profile, Skype profile, subs services and subscriptions, desktop version of productivity apps, 1 TB of cloud storage, advanced security more than 1, convenient subscriptions. But this is like uh, you have to buy it for 1 TB. And I'll tell you OneDrive, which is like, which will give you five uh, gigabytes of storage five gb storage which is less it is just you can test the onedrive and use how you can you can use microsoft account and uh, that is it with this right so we are done with our one way to get a microsoft account or, or converting your gmail account as a microsoft account and we will use this Microsoft account in my next video uh, which I'll create today only but this video is like specific to this topic how to get a Microsoft account now suppose I have to get a Microsoft account like from Microsoft so what we will do is we'll copy it the URL will paste it here and it will login and you click on sign in so it will try to like it will it will sign in to your earlier sign uh, so you need to sign out from here this is a continuous video i'm trying to create so that hang on while a moment let me start a new new browser so I'll just maybe a new incognito browser I'll, I'll start fire up and then I'll put the URL and you click on sign in so no account create one and get a new email address so 
you see you'll get two email address either outlook or hotmail if you are getting it from microsoft so let us see how do we create so suppose i create an email address like technowits in my channel name technowits at outlook.com next technowits at outlook.com is already a microsoft account okay so i'll not uh, I remember I have not created it, so maybe one, two, three. Create a password. Next, and I'll put again my date of birth, which is not correct. Okay, but I need to remember it because I'm creating a video, I'm showing it to you. And you might have the right intention, but there are hackers who can hack like Yeah, that is the reason Verification complete again. So I get this email address technovits123 at outlook.com Okay It will we'll have to go through the same process like verification and all like we when we converted our Gmail account. So this is my new Microsoft account that I got from Microsoft, which is technovits at 123 at outlook.com. Okay. Now, now if you want to explore your Microsoft account, you can go to what services you get. You get OneDrive, you see OneDrive. Uh, you click on sign in here or sign in to it and this is your Microsoft account your your and you see like you get a five gigabytes of storage for when you use OneDrive all right this was it my next video would be when you when we are installing how how these devices are synced across so my videos like when we install windows 10 if you if you have gone through my videos like how to install windows 10 for so far i have always promoted to use a local account but now in uh, when we do like a windows installation we will use our microsoft account to sign into windows and let us see how it goes thank you for watching like subscribe uh, <laughs> all right so whatever you want <laughs> thank you keep watching the channel thank you and have a nice day